All right, everybody, so I went a little off topic in the last video, and there was a reason for that. Uh, we're going to talk about the URL here, uh, a few videos from now, but I wanted to add the slugs to the page table and put them in the form here and get that uh, idea kind of brewing in your head before we move on. So we still have some work to do in the admin with the pages form and all that. So if we hop over here to Aptana, I'm going to go ahead and minimize all these folders here. And we're going to go ahead and get back into the admin area. And I'm going to go ahead and open up the index.php and come on down here to our form. And I want to add the slug in here. And I'm just going to do that uh, right after user. So I'm just going to copy this form group here for the label and paste a copy of it up here. And we'll change everything. There you go. Now, in order to make this work, we also need to head up to the insert query and put that in here. So we'll go ahead and just put that after user. So slug comma, and then over here we need the value as well. So we need to do post and the slug. And this whole thing needs to be wrapped in single quotes. And make sure to put a comma after it. So we go ahead and save that and refresh our page there. Now we have the slug in there. Now let's talk about how to actually load a page into our form. So head back over to Aptana and we have this uh, page list over here on the left with a link and we can use that link to go ahead and add items to the form. So in the uh, href property of the link here on 88, just do index.php, and we'll, we'll be changing this later as we add more pages to the admin, but for now we're just going to put an index, then question mark, and then we're going to send the page ID to the URL. So we'll do ID equals, then we need to echo out the page ID for each one of these pages. So PHP tags echo page underscore list and then the ID key close that and close your PHP save that and we head over to the browser here refresh and so now when we click on one of these it's going to send ID equals whatever the uh, page ID is so what we can do with that then is run an if statement to see if that ID has been set and then if it is then we'll go ahead and fill out the form so up here after our uh, our message here let's give yourself a couple of lines and start a new PHP block and we're gonna do if we'll do is set get ID in our curly brackets and inside here we're going to run our query so do Q equals and we're just simply going to select the page that is associated with that ID so select all from pages where ID equals get ID. And then we'll run the query and save the result. So MySQL I underscore query database connection and our query. Close that. Now we need to send the result to an array. So we'll call this array um, 
opened, as in the page that's been opened. Opened equals mysqli underscore fetch soch. Send it the result. There you go. So now we have the page that was open. So let's go through here and we need to add a value property to the uh, input tags. So we'll come in here for title, put in value. equals and then we need to echo out the value so PHP echo opened and this is the title semicolon and close the PHP so let's go ahead and just actually copy this entire thing the value and the PHP Copy that, and we'll, we're going to ignore the uh, user dropdown for now and just take care of the inputs and the text area. Let's come down here and paste this for slug, and we simply need to just change the key from title to slug, and we do this for the rest of them. So paste. This is label. Paste. This is header. And then for the text areas, this one's a little different. This one doesn't have the body. The uh, This one does not have a value property. The value actually goes in between the text area tags. So let's just go ahead and copy the echo statement without the value equals. So copy that, paste that in here, and change this to body. Save that, come back to our page, and just click on one of these. There we go. We've loaded in our home page information, or that's the about us. Let's click on home page, and there we go. So the only thing we're missing now is setting the user drop-down box to select the correct user.